Lexington police break a personal record, workforce grants, and kick it Kentucky. This and more up next on this week's edition of Lexington Now. I'm Sherelle Roberts and this is Lexington Now. Lexington's police department has graduated its newest recruit class and it's the largest ever. My hope now is you see yourself through what we saw during the selection process. You are dedicated to public service with tremendous integrity, courage, and discipline. As you often hear in our agency, and you should have now learned, treat everyone with dignity and with respect and have compassion for all those that we serve. Every person in our community looks to you for reassurance, safety, and with leadership. Never pass up a moment to make a positive difference in someone's life. Police work is rewarding and you will have a front row seat to everything, and that means everything in our city. You will have experiences others only see on television or get to read about. You will be there to witness the horrific final moments of those who have harmed themselves or been harmed by others, and then console the families of those left behind. You will also inspire a young child to want to be a police officer, just by your presence and the actions as they watch you help others or pull back home in your police car at night. You will break preconceptions of police officers from segments of our community that are marginalized by seeing them as a person, often in need and ensuring we receive all the same care and resources we have to offer them. Sometimes during your career, you may save someone's life, or many lives for that matter, by putting yourself and your safety secondary to a total stranger, because this is what you have been called to do. You will run towards danger as others run away. Let me say that again. They will run the places to serve other people as they are running away. You've been entrusted to respond to calls that represent the very worst moments of someone's life. And often with unrealistic expectation of accomplishing what exceeds the confines of any human being you should ever witness. These experiences will forever be carried in your mind and in your soul. You will witness all that is wrong and terrible and unpalatable within our society and still bear witness to all that is good and inspiring and return to home from your shift in awe, observing the best that the people have to offer. Recruits, be proud. Families, be proud. Our police training program is one of the toughest, most demanding in the country. Today it represents outstanding professional accomplishment. Graduates are joining the police department with a proud tradition a rich history, an extraordinary lives. We know that our police are dedicated to safety, to the safety of Lexington and its citizens. And our citizens, our citizens respond to that. They respond to that with deep respect and admiration for the job that you all do. I'll ask you to raise your right hand I will recite the oath and then I will ask you to respond and I do. I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as I continue a citizen thereof and I will faithfully execute to the best of my ability the office of police recruit according to law and that I possess the qualifications required by statute and ordinance. And I do further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution, I, being a citizen of this state, have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state nor out of it, nor have I sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons, nor have I acted as second in carrying a challenge nor aided or assisted any person thus offending So help me God. Please respond, I do. I do. 
Thank you and congratulations. For more information, you can log on to the police department's page. It's on the city's website, LexingtonKY.gov. The city of Lexington is accepting applications for its workforce grant program for nonprofit organizations that offer training and economic development services. Elodie Dickinson has more information. The purpose is to provide um, support to nonprofits and uh, partnering with educational institutions to try to implement some training opportunities for the workforce. So my job as a workforce development manager is to try to increase the labor participation rate in the county. And one of the ways to do that is to provide um, opportun training opportunities. When employers come to town, one of the questions they ask is, what's your workforce like? So we want to be able to have a real tangible way of demonstrating our commitment to trying to keep a workforce here, to train a workforce, and to, to develop our workforce. And through that, providing opportunities for people to become a part of the workforce, and however that means. So this coming, this year for FY18 and FY19, we have the Economic Development Grant again. The funding cycle is currently underway. The deadline to apply is Monday, October 16th. So that's actually just a couple weeks away. And you can visit our website at lexingtonky.gov forward slash economic development. And that's where you can find the application. And um, there you will find the details on the cap for applications and find the policies and guidelines along with the application. We're looking at a two year funding cycle. So contingent on the budget for FY19 being approved at 300,000 and contingent on their performance outcomes, then um, the application cycle will be for a two year cycle, which is a lot like the ESR funds with the city, the emergency social resource funds. Um, so that's something to know for that we are changing for this coming year. Um, and the cap is at $75,000 for a partnership and the cap is at 35,000 for an individual application. If they say, we're gonna place 20 people, they have to understand that they're gonna actually have to train more than 20 to reach their minimum number of 20 placed. That might mean they have to actually serve 30 because people will drop out along the way. You know, a lot people's lives um, exist, things can happen, they can decide they don't wanna do it, their mother gets sick, they have a baby, there's other things that can happen. Um, so they have to really serve more than the, the minimum amount that they're required so that they can get their minimum required amount that is in their purchase of service agreement with the city. There is a clawback, so if they don't, they don't reach that 20 placed, for example, then they, they would owe the city money. For more information on the program, you can visit lexingtonky.gov slash workforce development. And coming up after the break, we'll tell you all about Kick It Kentucky. We have more miles of running water than any state in the continental U.S. You may not know it, but all our streams catch water directly from storm sewers on our streets. When someone tosses a cigarette butt on Maine, it could end up in Town Branch. Don't trash the bluegrass. Lexington Parks and Recreation is proud to present Freaky Friday Flicks at Moondance Amphitheater. This spooky movie series will feature family-friendly Halloween classics, including Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, E.T., and the original Ghostbusters. The movies will be every Friday in October at 7.30 p.m. Admission for those 13 and over is $2. Children 12 and under are free. It may be chilly, but you'll be able to warm yourself by campfire, a game of cornhole, and the comfort of fall foods on site. For a complete schedule of movies, please visit our website. So get out and play and celebrate the season with parks. You bring the blankets and your friends, the movies and marshmallows are on us. Freaky Friday Flicks! Cigarette butts are Lexington's number one most littered item. Don't trash the bluegrass. Welcome back to the show. 
Tobacco use in Kentucky has seen a major drop in the past two decades. And that's because more and more people have become aware of the dangers of tobacco use, particularly cancer. The Kentucky Cancer Program's Kick It Kentucky Week is aimed at helping those who are still struggling with tobacco use. Welcome to the first ever Kick It Kentucky Tobacco Cessation Week. Our organization and 26 other leading health organizations have partnered together to support Kentuckians who want to improve their lives by quitting tobacco. The goal of Kick It Kentucky is to educate people on the benefits of quitting and let them know about the many tools available to help them succeed. As chair of the Senate Health and Welfare Committee, one of my priorities is reducing Kentucky's smoking rates. So during this last 2017 legislative session, we came closer to achieving that goal by passing Senate Bill 89. And that, that was my bill, and I was very proud to sponsor it. The bill gives more Kentuckians a fighting chance when it comes to kicking the habit by removing all barriers to smoking cessation. Kentuckians on commercial health plans and Medicaid now have true barrier-free access to the treatments that they need to successfully quit tobacco. So many of our families have been touched by lung cancer, including my own, and that's one reason why I'm um, honored to be here today on behalf of Mayor Jim Gray to declare this Kick It Kentucky Week. Um, I have been told it's not official from the mayor's office uh, unless I read the proclamation. So I will read the proclamation. Kick it Kentucky Week. Whereas tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable death in the United States, claiming the lives of more than 9,000 Kentuckians each year. Whereas tobacco use is known to cause multiple cancers, heart disease, stroke, respiratory diseases, eye diseases, and other chronic diseases. Whereas more than one quarter of Kentuckians continue to smoke, causing an increase in healthcare costs, and a decrease in productivity. Whereas children of smokers are more likely to suffer from lung problems, ear infections, and severe asthma, and are more likely to begin using tobacco themselves. Whereas Kentucky spends more than $1.92 billion each year, including $590 million to Medicaid on tobacco-related medical costs. And whereas smokers who quit before the age of 50, cut in half their risk of dying in the next 15 years. Therefore, Mayor Jim Gray, Mayor of Lexington, hereby declares the week of September 25 to 29, Kick It Kentucky Week in Lexington. Uh, the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky has one job, and that's to try to make our people healthier here in the Commonwealth. Well, guess what, folks? We got our work cut out for us. I think you all know where we rank in so many different areas, but in cancer, it's particularly difficult. We are the cancer capital of the United States of America, and folks, that cannot stand. We cannot tolerate that. That is something we've got to do something about. Our people, and we love our people, in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, our people are diagnosed with cancer more than any other people in any other state. And we die of cancer at rates higher than any other state. Now, I hate to say that, but we need to understand what the truth is so we can do something about it. We also rank 43rd in heart disease mortality. We rank last in adult asthma and 49th in COPD. We're sicker when we're alive and we die earlier because of it. But illness and premature death are not the predetermined fate of our people because we do have solutions. There are things we can do as individuals, as communities, and as a state that will greatly improve our health. Consider this, of course, just said we had the highest cancer rate. Well, yes, we also have the highest smoking rate in the nation. And smoking is tied to each and every disease that I listed above. Therefore, I submit to you 
that the single most effective thing that we can do to improve the health of the people in this Commonwealth is to reduce those smoking rates. Ladies and gentlemen, we just simply got to do it. We've got to do it. It's a crisis and the need is, it, it's dire. It's hard to break the addiction though, I know that. It usually takes several tries. That's okay, it's worth it. And that's what Kick It In Kentucky, Kick It Kentucky Week is all about. Because if you kick the smoking habit, and Senator Adams mentioned some of these things, if you kick the smoking habit for 12 hours, the carbon monoxide level in your blood drops back to normal. Kick it for two weeks, your circulation and lung function improve. Kick it for a year, you cut your risk of heart disease in half. There's a lot of help available to kick the smoking habit. And as we've already mentioned, Senator Rocky Adams led the fight to pass Senate Bill 89 this year, so now Kentucky law requires insurance companies to cover FDA-approved smoking cessation programs. Quit Now Kentucky offers an individual telephone counseling and referrals to local programs. The American Cancer Society offers resources on its website. And check out Smoke Free tomorrow.org. That's our new website for links to resources for both individuals and also healthcare professionals. Well, Halloween is almost here and Amber Llewellyn has some information about the great family friendly events that Parks and Recreation has in store for this, the spookiest time of the year. So Parks has a full lineup of fall activities um, celebrating the uh, Halloween season. We start off with Freaky Friday Flicks at Moondance Amphitheater and that will be a spooky movie series that will have family fr friendly Halloween classics. We have uh, Hocus Pocus, Nightmare Before Christmas, E.T. and the original Ghostbusters and they're every Friday in October at 7.30 p.m. and we're gonna have a lot of fun um, pre-show activities. We have campfires and marshmallows and uh, cornhole so people can come out even though it's chilly we'll have wonderful fall food vendors who will have coffee and warm things to drink and kettle corn so um, we hope everybody will come out and enjoy that event and then we will also have Little Goblins Galore at McConnell Springs on Saturday October the 14th from 1 to 5 p.m. and that is for children from uh, the ages of 12 and under they are five dollars each adults are free their chaperone is free and that is a friendly halloween event where we have an enchanted character trail we have a friendly haunted house we have entertainment throughout the day such as uh, the legend of sleepy hollow um, a puppet group a princess singer we have um, a petting zoo and we also have our thriller and halloween parade before thriller goes down the street we have just a, a Halloween parade of all kinds of other fun Halloween stuff. And then we now also have the Wicked Wonders Halloween Market. So we start at two o'clock that day. We have um, artists and craftspeople who are making things that are spooky or whimsical um, in keeping again with the whole spirit of the, of the season. And we have food vendors and entertainment. We have Sora, the aerial contemporary circus artist, musicians that will be performing live a Halloween playlist. So it's, it's music, theater, dance. Um, that all starts at 2 o'clock. At 6.30 we have the Halloween Variety Show, which are different performing arts groups from around the city. And then the parade starts at 8 p.m. and Thriller at 8.30. So it's a full day of Halloween fun. It's going to be a slower week here in the Urban County Government with no scheduled televised meetings. But you can find meeting archives online at LexingtonKY.gov slash LexTV. Or you can catch our other programming right here on LexTV channel 185 or on our YouTube channel at LexTV. Lexington's Division of Waste Management is holding a free mulch giveaway for all Lexington residents this Saturday, October 7, 2017. It's going to be at 1631 Old Frankfurt Pike from 8 a.m. until noon. 
and it's going to be available on a first come first serve basis and residents are limited to one pickup truck load per person. That's a lot of mulch, so you should be fine. There will be a self-serve area for those who are picking up smaller bags. Well, that's all for this week's edition of Lexington Now. You can keep up with us all week long on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. And you can check out the latest traffic updates on Twitter at our handle at LexRex. Or you can get a bird's eye view on our live traffic cams on the city's website, LexingtonKY.gov. For the staff and producers at Lex TV, I'm Sherelle Roberts, and that's it for now.